All right, we are about two minutes away before we get started with this game two of our doubleheader here on the Mike Live. Just got done watching the Second Baptist girls defeat the St. Michael's Crusaders 66 to 44. So congratulations to them. They will be seeing the winner of Woodland Baptist in Geneva uh, on March 4th. Um, but we have a new game now, and it will be the St. Michael's Crusaders versus the Woodland Christian and Warriors. What I find funny is the winner of this game will see the winner of TMI Episcopal and Second Baptist. Yeah, so there is a possibility that, you know, Second Baptist and Woodland Christian can be meeting all together, you know, boys and girls could be, but regardless. About to get started here in just a minute. As. Yeah. They're about to get ready to do the national anthem and the prayer in just a moment. You're coming down last 30 seconds.
All right, we got our intros, starters. Good. Winner of this game will be taking on either TMI Episcopal or Second Baptist in the semifinals. And has a chance to continue this season. The Fortune League team that does not will back it up to all the season. So good luck to both teams as we get ready for the first tip off. And it is the Crusaders not wasting any time trying to get something going. Good pass out. As it's Craig. Pass out to Dunham. Trying to get something. Can't get it. And it's missed. Taken immediately. Trying to get something going. Something happened, something going through their team for the both teams taking their time here. Passing out. Another opportunity. And that goes in and out. Perkins. First shot is no good. Trying to get something going. Oh, it's called. Stays with St. Michael, trying to get something going. Passes it up, tip to the corner. Trying to get it, it was fought for, and the Warriors come up with it. Trying to push a little more. Pass out to Perkins. Out to Pinto, Pinto, out to Bugatti. And they're going to call a travel across on that. So St. Michael's will get it. It'll be passed out. McCray. Pass out to Vincent. Out to Hill. Trying to get something going. Can't get it. It gets stuffed. It was Jones trying to stuff it in, and he could not. Bugatti. Trying to get something going, trying to make something happen. Out to Boker. So inside, Perkins is passed. Perkinson's shot is blocked. And so two shots at the line as Hill came from nowhere to join the block party. And he'll miss that first one. But he'll sink the second. Not a lot. So one nothing game as Jones goes inside, tries to flip it in. He can't get it. Rebound by the Warriors. Trying to push it around out to Perkins. Perkins back to Poker. Boker. Trying to ball was tipped out. Boker has it now. They're just kind of passing it around, trying to set up some sort of offense. Warriors trying to get something going inside and it tipped in. Neither team really having a strong advantage. 
Jones trying to get it, and it's stolen away, intercepted. And they're going to call a foul. So it's going to stay with St. Michael's. As Boker will come off. Awasom will come in. Hill, pass out to Vincent. Good opportunity, a chance inside, no good. As Hill tried to tip it to, tried to tip it, couldn't get it. Both three trying to get something going. Perkins now. As they're just holding on to the ball. Waiting. I think they're just waiting to set something up. This big one is not moved. So much so the shake of the table from the camera laying on. Trying to get it going. Pass out to move. Perkins trying to get it. Can't get it. St. Michael's is there playing great defense. Trying to get something going. Team, team really pushing anything because there's no shot clock. They can't have a 24 second violation. Can just hold it and do this all game if they choose to. Perkins back in to Bugatti. Bugatti trying to get something going. Still can't get anything. Bugatti trying to get it. It's time for quarter three. And he sinks that one. That's Josh Pinto. Durham inside to Hill. Hill is good. They're going to say no, but basket. So a 6 nothing. So no basket. Call an offensive foul prior to it. As for the Crusaders, Malachi Smith comes in. Bento tries. Vinto for three, and he can't get it. Tipped up, stolen away by the Crusaders. Out to Smith. Smith can't, and they're going to say he stepped out of bounds. McCray had it on the rebound and got it to Smith, but he wasn't watching where he was going, and he stepped out of bounds. It makes it a 6-0 game still. Pushing it through, all the way, a Watson. Bugatti, Perkins, back to Bugatti. Back to Perkins, to Bento. Kind of just trying to set up some sort of offense. Bugatti, Perkins, looks like Cole, Bento, and a Watson on the floor for the Warriors. Trying to set something up. As Bugatti goes in over Perkins, trying to set something up to Awasom. Makes a move. No team really doing what they've been doing. Good. Bugatti for two. No good. As McCray has it. McCray goes out to Benson, to Smith. All the way across the court. Goes and it's stolen away. Bugatti trying to get it in. No, can't get it in. Hot ball stolen. Who has it? And it comes out. Warriors ball and again stolen away. 
McCray has it. Trying to get something goes out. He's gonna stay with the Crusaders. We have come inside the final minute. Would you believe it to be a 6-0 game? Trying to get it. Vincent, ball goes in and out. As Perkins has it now. Back to Bigani. Who will get it right over. Trying to get it going. All the way out. Still trying to get something going. As they are trying to steal it, they're going to call a foul. So patience seems to be the name of the game for the Crusaders. Uh, for Woodland Christian Park, it seems that a game of the cat and mouse. Well, the Warriors are there, as Smith will come off. Jinkle. We'll come in. Trying to get something going. Inside to Owasa who slides it in. McCray, a deep three. In and out and no good. And that is quarter number one. Eight nothing. So we will take a quick break and we'll be right back. You are watching playoff basketball here on Fight Live. Interested in Vibe Campus? Vibe Campus brings our popular citywide media days right to your doorstep. As a Vibe Campus client, we will work with you to help you take advantage of our unique campus model to build a unique experience for your school. From media day photo shoots of all your athletes to game day coverage, broadcasts and live streams, video and digital content, hype videos, the Vite View program, same day graphics, and of course your very own campus magazine, Vite Campus is truly whatever you want it to be. Email info at vitemedia.com to find out how to join Vite Campus today. All right, so that was the end of the first quarter, a very fast paced First quarter, capitalized off by two big moves. Oh. Try to make sure everything goes right. So it'll be Woodland's Christian trying to push through. Trying to push through, trying to get something going. Perkins trying to make something going. Pagani stepping back for a minute. As Pagani has it, trying to get something going. With three, it goes in and out. Smith has it. Out to McCray, who's pushing it up the court. Jingle trying to do something. As McCray has it, trying to shake his defender. Trying to get something going. All the way out. As Smith had it for a moment. Jingle comes in, can't get it, but it will stay with the Crusaders. Couldn't get it. As Prey passing him out to Esparza. Inside to Jones. He still can't get it. And they are still scoreless. Still no points yet for St. Michael. The 
chance to be up, come up for the St. Michael's Crusaders. Trying to get something. Jenkel now on. Trying to get something, and they're going to call a foul on Jenkel, even though they kind of tripped over each other. The ball is going to stay. So it's going to be bent up. No, it's going to be Cole, pardon me. Cole will be the one to inbound it. Trying to get something going. Good pass. All the way out. Awesome. Trying to push and go through. Awesome is left alone for the moment. Perkins is good. A 10-0 run. As Smith has it, trying to get something going, trying to save it. And they're going to call a foul on St. Michael's. I apologize in advance for the shakiness of the camera. Just sitting very close to the student section right next to me. As a timeout will be called. So, already, we are a little close to a quarter of the way through of the second quarter. We are at a 10-0 run. Only 10 points have been scored. All 10 have been scored by the Warriors. Nothing yet for the Crusaders. And it has been a defensive game. You can also be pointing back the track back to in quarter number one, two possessions. That put well over, I want to say at least 30 seconds to a minute long each for the Warriors as they held the ball, waited, and let the clock just kind of bleach down. So this has been, it's been good thus far, regardless. Trying to get something done. As trying to battle around, get something going. As that ball goes out, it's going back to the Crusaders. So now the Crusaders with an opportunity. Going out. Trying to get something going on the inside. And finally the drop in. So now both teams at least have two points on the board. Trying to get something. Perkins gets double teamed. Gets it out to Cole. Out. Vinto can't get it. Jekyll on the rebound. Trying to get something, pushing it through. Trying to get something, trying to battle for it. As it is a battle, and they're going to say it goes against the Warriors. So the ball will stay with the Crusaders. So good pass out. Trying to get something going. Jones trying to get something pushed through. All the way out. Pushing it. There was Esparza. All the way across. Can't get it. Trying to save it. Both teams trying to get something going. Pass out, Jinkle for three, can't get it. Warriors come up with it. Trying to get something going, Bugatti inside, flips it in, extends the lead back to 10. Still trying, still going. 
Jones tries a three, can't get it. Blown away by Wilma Christian. Going, we got it, going coast to coast, and he's got it. And they took a timeout. So timeout. St. Michael's, they are now down by their biggest margin of 12. Be right back in just a moment. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Texas. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. All right, coming back. Over there trying to get better. Trying to push it out through. An opportunity for Durham, couldn't get it. They're trying to battle for the ball, Perkins. Trying to get Bugatti. Has it now, inside, Bugatti is good. McCray trying to get it going. They're now down by 14. Trying to get something going. Trying to push through. Out, we got it. Pass it out. All the way across the field. Inside, move. Perkins for two, and it goes in. Takes a moment. Trying to make sure something happens. Sit all the way across the field to McCray. He just dumps it off. And it goes out. And they're going to say it stays or it goes to the Warriors. As we have reached the final two minutes inside of minute 45. It is an 18 to 2 game here. Unbelievable. A low scoring affair. Trying to get something going. Battling it around. Bigani tries, dips it off to Cole, can't get it. Ball goes out. They're going to say it stays with the Warriors. I say Hill was the last one to touch it. But Mashai Mich Hill fighting it. It over. Trying to make something go. Pushing it through. Migani has it. Waiting. Being patient. Trying to move, maneuver. And it's good. Perkins. And they just keep extending the lead. Pardon me for all the making sitting next to here. Everybody fans, that ball is tipped up in the air. No opportunity, a shot for three, no good. Hill comes with it, it's stolen away. A battle for it, comes in, it's almost a dunk, can't get it. Vincent had it, tried to dunk it, couldn't do it. And with 34.4 left to go, before we hit halftime, it is an 18 point game, 20 to two. Oh my goodness. Trying to 
push and make everything work a little bit better. So just a few seconds more. It has been absolutely crazy. As we are coming into it now, the Warriors will have the ball, and the Warriors will turn it. Have a go. Trying to push and make something happen. All the way out to Old Wasson. Out to Enzo. Go up to Bugani. Not a lot of time. Kirk is probably going to take the last shot. Enzo will take it, and he'll miss. And that's going to be it. And that will be the end of the first half with the unusually low score of 20 to 2. So they're going to each take some time and figure out what they want to do. And we'll take a break with them. Come back right after recess. We were watching the playoff. Basketball here on the Vibe Live. Be right back after these messages. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game winning shot? A photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees, high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. There are no words to describe it. The isolation the boredom, the loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. It's been a trying year for parents. They've been confronted with countless challenges and have always risen to the occasion. If it isn't too much to ask, 
the 826,000 high school student athletes in Texas have one last request. Please set an example. Disorderly fan conduct at high school athletic events is on the rise. It increasingly involves parents. There's no question that parents are passionate. There's no question they care about their children. But at a time when we're all wound a little more tightly than usual, it's worth remembering this about Texas high school sports. Always be a good example. Stop unruly fan behavior before it starts. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Are you worried how 2020 has impacted your teen's social development? We are too. Want to know what might help? Participating in the performing arts in high school. It's been hard being a teenager recently. Hard to cope, hard to keep up, hard not to feel like you're missing out. Everything's different and nobody knows what's next. Encouraging your son or daughter to participate in performing arts can really help. Those are high school activities like band, orchestra, choir, theater, speech, and debate. They'll make new friends, develop confidence, and feel the satisfaction of being part of a team. Participation in the performing arts aren't a cure-all, and they certainly won't make the pandemic go away but they will make the teenagers in your family feel like they're part of something special. This message presented by the NFHS and the Texas University Interscholastic League. Hey high schoolers, are you interested in a career in sports media? Vibe can help! Launched in 2017, our Vipe U Ambassador Program is a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. Vipe U also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vipe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on-camera interviews, each Vipe U ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out more about Vipe U today. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Texas. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. Interested in Vipe Campus? Vipe Campus brings our popular citywide media days right to your doorstep. As a Vipe Campus client, we will work with you to help you take advantage of our unique campus model to build a unique experience for your school. From media day photo shoots of all your athletes to game day coverage, broadcasts and live streams, video and digital content, hype videos, the Vipe U program, same day graphics, and of course your very own campus magazine, Vipe Campus is truly whatever you want it to be. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out how to join Vipe Campus today. All right, we're about to get started with the third quarter of this game. 20 to 2, that is currently the score. A little, not the typical basketball score, but it is the score nonetheless. As. Both teams have, are coming out to try to finish and prep up their shooting. As 
It's really just been a score, not necessarily a score, it's really just been a lot of movement and maneuvers, and really it has just been all Woodland Christian as of thus far. So what changes, what happens? That's the question. As we are about to get set and ready as a last few seconds. Before we get started, I definitely want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Academy. You're ready to go back to school and back to sport at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Shop in-store or online at academy.com, and you can find all the hottest gear and casual styles from Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and more. So thank you so much for sponsoring us, Academy. As we get ready, also, sorry in advance if the camera is a little bit shaky, sitting around a lot of really hyped uh, Woodland Christian, Woodlands Christian Academy fans and alum. And they're extremely excited. So if the camera gets shaky and you can't make out what's going on at the time, sorry about that, in advance. But we are ready for 16 more, 16 plus more minutes of an opportunity. As McCray will have it, try to get it inside to Smith. Smith trying to get it out to Benson. Benson trying to... Move it to McCray, all alone, and that's good. Dunham, all alone. Like I said about the girls team, this St. Michael's team does not give up, and they will not go away quietly, I know that, as it is a battle taken away, all the way out. Dunham, an opportunity trying to go on to the inside to Hill as you can't get it. And it goes in. So Hill has it. Trying to get something going. A Wassum out to Bagani. Bagani. Trying to get it out. Gets it to Awasom. Trying to get it to Bagani. Bagani steals it away. Pass out. That's Boker to Perkins. Perkins can't get it. McCray has it now. To Smith. Right back to McCray. Getting something going. As Vincent for three, sinks that one. Bigani trying to get it going. Out to Boker, Boker, he missed it. But he recovers it, gets it out to Bigani, and he's going to wait for a moment. He's going to drive, trying to go inside, and it's batted away. And they're going to say it goes right to the Crusaders. Malachi Smith comes in. Smith goes, it goes out, and they're going to say it stays. As Benzo came in like a rocket and did his best to try to steal it away. <laughs> Excuse me. As that ball is battered away, stolen away. Warriors have it. Benzo trying to get it inside his block. Vincent on the block. Warriors get it. Goes on the backboard, trying to get something going. Back to Bigani, trying it again. 
Out. Boker passing it on the inside. Bigani all alone. Trying to get something. There's Perkins, and it goes out. And they're going to say it goes to St. Michael's. They're going to say Cole was the last one to touch it. As McCray, Ryan McCray, comes back. Josh Jones inbounds it to McCray. Dunham. Can't find anything. It's tipped in the air. Stolen away. Cole steals it away. All the way. Benso. No one was there. Stolen. But it goes right back to St. Michael's. I think it went off the shoe of, I believe, Boker. I think it went off the shoe of Boker. As it happens, McCray out to Smith. Smith pulling up a three. He sinks it. Four minutes left to go here in the third. Boker back to Bigani. Bigani Perkins, his shot, no good. Hill on the rebound. McCray pushing it up the field, goes out, and they're going to say it stays with St. Michael's. Binto was there, popped the ball out, couldn't save it in time, however. Woodland Christian, Woodlands Christian calling for defense to be played. Hill trying to get it inside Josh Jones. Timeout, Woodlands Christian. And this is now a game. Down by as much as 18, the St. Michael's Crusaders have fought and clawed back, going on a 13-0 run to start the third quarter, and now have cut their deficit to only five. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. I can't wait to see how this one plays out. But again, if you're just joining us, it started off as a 20-2 game coming out of halftime. 18, down by 18, a 13-0 run. St. Michael's didn't score at all in the first. They're trying to make that happen for Woodland Christians here in the third. Still alive. Bigani. Across. Perkins. Had a wide open three. As did Cole. Neither, both of them passed up on it. Trying to get something going on the inside. Trying to flip it out to his man. Bigani tried flipping it out to Cole. Intercepted as McRae has it. Pulls up for three. It's not good. Bigani going. Trying to get something going. Bigani for three. Sinks that one. So keeping them scoreless, not going to happen. They're able to at least get three. Benson out to Hill. Hill trying to get it. He's got it. And the foul. An opportunity to cut the lead right back to five. Hill, trying to get something. He sinks it. And this is a five-point game. Durham comes out. Sorry, Dunham comes out.
Pass out to Boker. Boker to Perkins. To Cole. Cole to Bigani. Bigani back to Boker. Back to Bigani. Perkins. To Boker. And there's Bigani on the inside. Tried to drive. Ops out. Tries it again. Bigani doing what he did in the first, just waiting out to Boker. Boker trying to get it on the inside and sinks it. Playing a game of patience as Vince is going to try for three. And he's good for three. Two teams, two different approaches to scoring. Twenty-one, twenty-five. Trying to get it, Boker. Yeah, Bigotti sinks it in. Still a six-point game, but still anyone's game. Pass out to Jones. Inside the hill. Hill. Jones. Jones inside sinks that one. And now it's a four-point game and a timeout taken. 51.3 seconds left. I told you before, don't go anywhere. This may be a low-scoring basketball game, but my goodness, it has been absolutely amazing. It has been immaculate on both sides. The storyline in this one, it will be what it is. But currently, right now, it was an 18-point lead for Woodlands Christian. A 13-0 run by St. Michael's. And now they are cut the deficit down to four. As they have just had a resurgence. They have just had a resurgence of energy and passion. As you can tell on both sides, one team is trying to win it all. The other one desperately not trying to let this one slip. As Bagani has it, passes it out to Boker. Boker back to Bagani. Over to Boker. Boker trying to get something going. Gets it all the way over. We're coming inside. 30 seconds left to go here. In. Trying to push it. Going through. Out to Cole. Cole. Back to Bigani. Looks like they're going to try to take the last shot. Ten seconds on the clock. Bigani. Try out to Perkins. Perkins loses the ball for a second. Lost his footing. Boker trying to get it. No good. And that's how the third quarter will end. Out scoring their opponents 23-7. So we'll take a quick break, and we will come right back so we can bring this one right back to you. One moment. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Texas. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. The start of the fourth quarter coming in 15 seconds. As again, what an amazing game we've had on our hands. The girls game was very, very competitive all throughout, despite what the score may have said. It was a very competitive game throughout. This game has lived up to the hype. Again, the winner of this game will go on to play the winner of the TMI Episcopal Second Baptist game on March 4th. 
Although a low scoring basketball game, a very good high intensity game. And the last stanza starts now. Bigani gets over the timeline, trying to push through, and they're going to say a. <laughs> they're going to call a foul on St. Michael's. Trying to get it, Bigani, getting it, moving it around. As it's moved, trying to get something. Perkins, his shot is blocked. I'm unprecedented. So his shot will be blocked. He will go for two to the line. Try to extend this lead as much as he can. And he'll sink number one. So extends it to five. He'll, he'll sink the second one as well. McCray gets it out to Jones as Bigani was on him. As Jones has it. Trying to get something going, passing it out. Trying to get it, Jones. Was looking to set up for three. Benson was about to set up for three as well. He'll go inside. He'll miss. Trying to push and keep going. Bigani trying to put the icing on it. Out to Boker. Boker, a good pass out. Goes. Bento sinks that one. A whistle is blown. St. Michael's calls a timeout. And we'll take it with them. You are watching playoff basketball here on Vibe Live. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. been a lot, a lot of cheers, a lot of great games being played. So, a timeout was called. It gives them the opportunity now. As that ball is taken, made, maneuvered, trying to get it through. McCray just trying to get it over and get some, get something. Benson, out to McCray. McCray trying to get it going. Yo, know, a three goes in and out. Not, not enough. Sends it and Perkins puts it in. Perkins, just making this his world. A three can't get it. But it's taken, fought for, an opportunity. And they're going to say it went off the foot of a warrior. Five minutes. Five minutes, 55 seconds left on the clock. Again, Woodland Christian led by as much as 18 points. Lead by nine now. Oh 
An opportunity. Pass over the way over to Benson. Battle away. Perkins dunks it. They're not going away. Oh, a three, six, that one. It is a game at 10, 36, 26, five minutes, 32 seconds left to go. And the timeout has been called unprecedented. Unprecedented. So as we keep going through again, if you're just joining us, not a bad game. And started off a very low scoring game, eight nothing in the first quarter, ended up to be 20 to two. 20 to two at halftime, a 23 to seven run here in the third, in the third, and now currently it is the Warriors who are now on a run. They're on a nine to three run. Trying to put these Crusaders away again. The winner who, the one who is able to find a way to win this one. We'll see the winner of the TMI Episcopal Second Baptist game on March 4th. Could we be seeing double? Five minutes to go. St. Michael's is not going away easily. And Woodland Christians is not good, not either. How this one ends, we'll find out. Boker passing it all the way across the field. Trying to get something while Boker dunks it. That's not going to count. Called a foul prior to it. Trying to get something going. Pass all the way out to Benzo. Benzo to Boker. Perkins on the inside. Cole sinks that one. As Smith takes it. Trying to get something going. Dunham can't sink the three. Trying to get it. As far as tries to save it. And not enough. There was not a Crusader in the vicinity as Benta pushes it across the field to Boker. Trying to get it across the court. Trying to get something going as it goes in. Just leisurely falls in. Trying to get something going. Smith out. Tried looking for Jones. Couldn't get him. Just a miscommunication on that part as we are now here. Four minutes, eight seconds left to go here in the game. Tries. It goes in. And the Warriors starting to look more like they did in the first half. Smith trying to get something, trying to get Jenkel, and they're going to call a foul. I think they're going to call that one on Perkins. And they are. They're going to call it on Perkins. St. Michael's trying to get something going as Hill will be the one. Oh, Dunham for three. Still alive in this one. St. Michael's is still alive. As Boker trying to get something going, trying to push it. No good. So Perkins' last shot is not going to count. They're going to say the foul is on Benson. 
As Bensota has it, giving it all the way out. Bigani trying to push it through. All the way out. Send it up. As it's Bigani shaking defenders, and he can't get it. It's Josh Smith, or Josh Jones, pardon me. Jones comes up with it. Jones all the way out, trying to get something going. Looked like he was going to set up for three. Vincent will set up for three. He won't get it. Two minutes, 42 seconds left. Spigani has it. Pass out. Perkins inside. Goes. I don't know how he was able to get that one going. Pass out. Another opportunity to try to shoot a three. No good. And they're going to call a foul. So they're going to call it on St. Michael's. They're going to call it on Jones. Trying to get it going. Trying to push it up the field. And there's Bigotti pushing it outside. Bento for three. Can't get it. Trying to battle, battle for it as Hill gets it. McCour out, and they're going to call, they're going to whistle. And so that's going to be against St. Michael's. Jones trying to plead his case. A timeout will be taken two minutes exact. 120 seconds left to go in this one. And it's starting to feel and smell a little bit like a Warriors win, but who knows? A lot can happen in two minutes. So if you're just joining us, been a really good game, been recapping it all the way through. 20 to, 20 to 2 when we hit halftime, a 23 to 7 run, and now what looks like a 17, 17 6 run being outscored. Warriors outscoring 17 6. But still, opportunity and a chance. Smith trying to go inside, get a foul as he goes, can't get it. Cole comes up with it. As they will intentionally foul. McCray will intentionally foul and a standing ovation. A standing ovation as Boker goes to the line to try to shoot two. He'll sink the first one. As they are maneuvering and moving out the Get it. He'll get that one. Trying to extend this lead as far as it goes. Benson out. Hill trying to get onto the inside. And they're going to call a foul on that one. 92 seconds left to go. Hill going to shoot two at the line. Six that one. Cuts that lead. Romero comes in. 
Sinks that one. Cuts it to 15. Just trying to pass it out, play a quick game of keep away. St. Michael's playing, trying to have suffocating defense. Trying to get it going. It's going to be two shots at the line. Bigani will shoot him. And that one will go in. Both of them do. As Jones trying to get it. Big call foul on the Warriors. A minute 14 left to go. So they're trying to get something going. Crusaders trying to make something happen. Ball is taken, intercepted for a moment. Boker has it. We got it, and he'll put it in. And extend that lead as they are the first half three. With 65 seconds left to go. They are being rowdy on this side as they realize, based on the tech, with an opportunity to score one more and extend the lead. It's good. Another opportunity on the foul. He'll sink that one. And that now leads it to the largest lead either team has had. Twenty. So an opportunity going inside. All the way across the field as Smith tips it. Gets it out. Smith trying to get something going, trying to get an alley-oop. Couldn't get it. Battle for it. That was 60 seconds to go. Trying to get something going. Brosh here. They've taken out all of their guys out to Anderson. Back to Brosh here. Trying to get something as Smith steals it away. To Jankel, Hill, trying to get something, no good. Jones can't get it. Jankel gets it, and the foul. Jekyll gets it. Cuts that lead down. Out to Brosh here. And that, as the clock ticks down for a three, won't get it, won't matter, and that's going to be it. The Woodland Christian Warriors survive a resurgence and we'll be moving on. Congratulations to the St. Michael's Crusaders for an amazing season. 
what a game. As I recap it fairly quickly for you, started off 8 nothing in the first. Ended up being 20 to 2 in the uh, at halftime, a 23 to 7 run by St. Michael's made it close. But at the end of the day, at the very end of the day, and the end of it all, it was Woodlands who gets it. So they are going on. Crusaders go home as both Crusaders boys and girls come out here tonight and unfortunately have to put up the sneakers and hope for, wait for, want for next season. What a game. What a doubleheader. If you watch the doubleheader, Again, 66-44 was the score as second Baptist beat St. Michael's, and then it was Woodlands Christian who beat St. Michael's. Do it. So that will be it from us here at Vibe. Here, great doubleheader, great set of people. Thank you so much to A&M Consolidated High School for holding this game. We'll see you in the next broadcast. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a Vibe Live broadcast.